while I had the unboxing knife out, in fact, haha, I didn't have it out. I closed it up again. I thought I'd unwrap the other thing that I picked up today at the office. This is from Miniatures USA. This is an eBay purchase. I've used Miniatures USA for a number of figures. Um, they have a really interesting selection, and typically the ones that I order from when I'm looking at esoteric miniatures, particularly for painters to paint. I'm really looking for older miniatures. These I don't think are that old. I can't actually recall. I know what one is, but I can't remember which one is. Welcome to my life. They were just sitting in my eBay cart, and I thought, eh, I'll buy them. Reading a book currently about Che Guevara, and picked up a magazine from 1958, a Look magazine, where he was interviewed. And picked that up for like, I don't know, a tiny amount of money, not a lot of money. And I had these two things in my cart, and I just thought, hmm, clearly some late night thing that I put in there. Would it be too esoteric if I actually purchased them? And one of them I just absolutely love. In fact, can I do this? I don't think I can do this. I think I've shown my Furies actually on the Mother's Review channel previously. But yeah, I had some kind of Demon Furies, old Fred Reed commissions. So I've already let them. the cat is out of the bag. So the paper is out of the bag at least. Let's uh, see what we can do with this here. It's not going to be too dexterous. The paper is out of the bag. So, two. The blister pack and some furies. Oh, they remember me. I say thanks again. Yeah, I've ordered from these folks for probably a few years now. I normally order like really esoteric old blisters that no one ever sees. I've got some um, fellow called Mark Raxblend, I think Max. Max. Anyway, he uh, he featured in my painting video. There's a what you get for your money. One of my favourite uh, figure painters currently. Doing a lot of good work for me. Well, very occasional bits of work for me. But yes, Chaos Furies. Oh my goodness. These actually... Uh, do I dare take them out of... The, I've got to take them out of the plastic because they're running... They're, that sound is not a good sound. Uh, I'm definitely going to have it from painted. So yeah, I'm even going to unbox them from the plastic to see what kind of state they're in. Because I want to get them out of the plastic. Purest nerds are screaming at this video now. So. Actually, let's see what this one is, because I can't remember what I... I have such esoteric interests. Let's see which one this one is. This is... Oh, Hobgoblins! Yeah, just two Hobgoblins. Yes. Yep. My cat trying to break in as I'm filming a video here, but we'll, we'll work through that. Oh my goodness. Can I actually get my hands to work some dimensional fashion? So yes, a bunch of old hobgoblins. As I desecrated the box, let's take it one step further. Are these American? It's an American press box. You can see how gargoyles. Oh my goodness. So this is, yes, made in the UK. So this is a UK box. The Furies, so many beautiful options for the Furies, and they're just really classic. I like the fact that it translates to gargoyles and some. Yeah, these are definitely going to go into uh, go into foam storage. Just such beautiful miniatures, such beauties. Yeah, they need to be stored separate. And a bunch of square bases. And around the bases. You want to play them because you can play them either 40k or fantasy, I guess. Oh, anyway, Monty, you're in the Bay Area. See this withered old plastic. <laughs> Signing up.